In CR Taylor's world, card is never an option, and their key attribute of dogged persistence proved its value beyond measure when Dave Taylor decided it was time for the truck he'd been mulling over for some years. Where on earth do you start a story on CR Taylor from Gisborne, with owners Dave and Glenn Taylor as central characters? There is managing director at Lover Challenge Dave and his immensely capable crane manager brother Glenn, a real pair of Kiwi brothers with a good dash of East Cape can-do attitude. What's brought us out east is sitting out in the yard outside, a beautifully presented Hino FY3248 Air 10 before crane truck. Not necessarily an earth-shattering discovery until you start looking a little closer. Under the rear mounted power finger crane is a steering axle shod with super single tyres. Still nothing too mind-bending, but behind that rearmost axle, sitting happily between the chassis rails, is a trailer coupling with the associated plumbing. Yes, now it's just got a bit interesting. Dave Taylor's need seemed on the surface simple enough, a 10 before crane truck with a rear axle that steered and lifted up out of the way. But that needed to be a long way up out of the way, so a dual wheeled lifting axle was not an option, as when lifted the wheels would clash with where the crane is mounted. And then there was the trailer to tow, so as it turns out a couple of these requirements eliminate the word simple from the calculations. Firstly there weren't any rear lift axles available in New Zealand that cleared the distance he required, and then there was that wee issue of the trailer hitch requirements. The NZTA rules state he couldn't have a rear caster steer axle on a truck and tow a trailer. Inquiries to an engineering friend resulted in a reply along the lines of, yep, been trying to get that one over the line for five years and given up. If it's not in their rule book, they don't want to know about it. So Dave went home a little deflated but kept seeing them online and videos working around the world and thought, bugger it, I'm going to give this thing a go. To understand the significance of that thought, you first need to know a little more about CR Taylor Limited. The thing is at Taylor's you simply don't give up. You might be halfway through the job and it's been raining for four days. There's a slip that's destroyed half the access road and the bully's stuck and your foot's just sunk into a mud pile and half filled your boot with shitty water. It is a case of remain calm, assess, make a plan and carry on. I have a mate in Christchurch in the same business and he reckoned that Adams and Curry were the ones to fit the crane and build the deck. So I flew down and met with them and they were keen and did a great job. Then I was pointed towards Peter Wilkinson in Cambridge by one of the bigger builders who didn't have the time for the specialist build. They said he'd be the man for the axle setup and getting it over the line. Man, I can't say enough about Peter. He was really keen and got on with it and was so helpful. The certifying engineer is in the same building as Peter Wilkinson and he also said it could be done and that the certificates and exemptions should all be doable, but we first needed to find an axle that ticked all the boxes. I searched online for an axle, and I came across the Composite Light from Hendrickson. It was exactly what was required, able to take super single tyres, cast a steer, and clear the ground by 230 mils when lifted. Problem was, they weren't available here. Getting the axle has been the longest part of the process. The truck was sourced from Hino New Zealand's Scott Hutterborer of Napier. It's a fantastic project, a one-off says Scott. We didn't really have to do too much to the truck as it was already a great fit for the tailor's requirements. An alley arc bumper was fitted and the exhaust pipe was rerouted for forestry work. We are certainly now getting a lot of inquiries about the finished product. We asked Dave Jarrett about sourcing and prepping the axle at the time. The SCT20 Composite Light was coming as a new model, said Dave. This caused some delay as it went through the application approval process at our engineering department in Melbourne. This process checks out if the axle and suspension will physically fit and considers the best product for the application. The product is truly state of the art and worth the wait. Dave was the first in New Zealand to get it, and we have high hopes for its potential in the marketplace. We think that the product is ideal for New Zealand truck configurations and conditions. All of this was going on and we still didn't have the exemptions and certificates. It was a really stressful time, said Dave Taylor. Our local NZTA lady, Lynn Williams, has been very helpful all the way through. And she directed us on to Don Hutchinson, NZTA Principal Engineer for Heavy Vehicles. A can-do sort of guy, Don has a track record of willingness to understand the needs of both the operator and the communities that they live in, finding solutions that work for both. His proactivity was key in all of this. Of course, the other big ticket item that is required was the ability to tow a trailer, and that was never going to happen with a cast to steer rear axle. The solution that the team came up with was a mechanism that locks the rear axle in place when the coupling pin drops, 
rendering the back end as a fixed try. In doing so, it also moved the wheelbase back 663mm, bringing the rear access to coupling length into the green zone. Finished, resplendent, certified, the Hino was ready to roll. Permitted to 35 ton GVM, the truck can cart 13 ton coming in at just on 22 ton tier without the fly jib in place. The real story here is Dave not walking away at the first no. As New Zealanders, giving up at the first hurdle is not supposed to be in our DNA. And it is so refreshing to find such resilience so alive and well. It's how we push the boundaries on development. It's how we get the machines we need. It's how we get a 10 before Hino with cast to steer rear tag axle that happily tows a trailer. <laughs>